All right, guys, we got Richard's truck again. Let's, uh, we did this yesterday. Let's do it to another one again. Uh, all right, you ready? Front end check. Let's check the track bar. Yeah, it needs track bar. Let's see what we Okay, let's watch this. Hang on, let me get it so I can do it. Okay, so it's got some up and down movement, but uh, like I said in the last video, I mean, the side to side is where the real problem is. I mean, up and down. Uh, but, I mean, you know, it's not tight. Not too tight, but not. Okay, what do we got there? Okay, we got side to side on the bottom one. So that one's done. The top one, I mean, you know, you get to a point where you might as well do the top one too. I mean, doing both. But now since that bottom one's bad, that does alignment. That means we need an alignment after we're done. That one looks like it's got some up and down on it. No in and out, it looks pretty tight. Okay, now we'll wash the ball joint, the track bar ball joint. Oh, hang on, let me see if I can get it to focus on that. I mean, it's got some play, so yeah. All right, so track bar ball joint, I mean, questionable, questionable on the ball joint. Uh, track bar, you know, I'd replace the track bar rather than pressing the bushing. I mean, I think track bar is a lifetime warranty. So, hang on. Okay, so by manually outside, this does lock and unlock. Uh, we're not sure about auto, but uh, let's see how the U-joint spins. I used to try to spin it, but let's just watch it, look for any binding. All right, turn the other way. Julie, keep spinning it. Just look for any tough spots where the axle jumps. I should go on the other side, but we'll keep watching it. We can see it. Honestly, that one's uh, working. It appears to be functioning. No jump spots. Uh, you know, if we go in for ball joints, we generally push to go and replace those. But, you know, I mean, we at least want to make sure that it works. Okay, we're good on this wheel. Okay, let's have a check the ball joints. tight. Let's check this upper. It's hard to do holding the hand. I need a yeah I mean obviously you can't see any movement so we're good. Okay this little guy right here th this wheel right here it does not spin as free. Got I mean you know, we, we could do like a little band-aid deal where you take the front rotors off and uh, pump some grease into the wheel bearing uh, through the ABS hole, you know, you can you can try that. Uh, it might be the wheel bearing getting a little sticky, you know. Uh, but the problem with throwing that in there is you wind up getting it in the vacuum hubs and then it won't, uh, <laughs> it'll clog up the, the vacuum line right there. All right, so you got it locked in. Julie, turn it uh, to the left. Working good. All right, turn it the other way. Just want to make sure it doesn't. Uh, I'll get a video. I know I've never made a video of this, but I'll get a video uh, showing a bad one. Uh, maybe Tanner's going to start editing videos. So our content probably is about to start uh, changing a little bit. Bump stops are going to shoot up. Hey, uh, those things aren't bad. They're, you just pop on. Uh, let's check these ball joints. Oh, go ahead, keep changing. All right, uh, we lift it by the center in the middle of the axle to check steering and all that so we can turn it, but it, I did go ahead and have them check this ball joint, but it's a lot easier. I, I think it shows a lot more definitively if you have one wheel on the ground and then you jack it up by one side. That way that wheel is stationary. It's a lot easier to uh, get the ball joint to move to make sure that we're not you know, because sometimes it, whatever, if you get it, you get it, I don't know. All right, right there, that's what I'm talking about. All right, if you move it differently. Hang on, let me see if I can get it a, an actual. Can you see it? It's moving. Oh, I can't hold my hand good enough. Let's check the top. Go for it. 
Here, let's just do this on the right there. Uh, attach it to one of them. See it moving? But it's the the axle actually moving on the ball joint. I mean, you could argue right there, tighten the, the upper ball joint a little bit. Let's look at. That. See if you can see it. Yeah. Just a little bit, minute movements. Okay, good. So, you know, if you lift it up by there, it's it sometimes. I mean, you can, but that's well, I mean, that's like not catastrophic at all, but it's not, uh, you know, tip top. Okay, so this one has about the same movement. You know, they're not minute, very minute. I mean, they don't. I don't know if you can see it. Very minute. Very minute. All right. Good deal. So that one is a little, a little, mm, I mean, doesn't spin as good. We'll just say that. So kind of a drag. All right. For right now, we're going to check the uh, shift on the fly and see if the vacuum hubs, see if everything works. Uh, we're not going to be working on it right now, but we're just going to see if it works to uh, see if we can check it off the list. Okay. Okay. That one locked. Hang on. Okay, we, uh, the hubs do work and un they lock and unlock manually, manually. So if you go down and you lock it in manually, yeah, see, that one's a lot harder to spin. I would almost say we need to take this wheel, we need to take this apart and possibly put a wheel bearing in this one. That thing is hard to spin. When you see if the brakes are dragging or something's dragging, but yeah, that one's pretty hard. Uh, okay, so they do work manually. So we're in two wheel drive right now. I'm spinning the tire. Okay, go for it. Okay, go to four wheel drive, give it a second. We'll, we'll give it a second. We don't expect it to be instant. Okay, hang on, I'm trying to hold this upside down, so. Hey, come out here and spin this damn top. Well, hang on. Okay, no lock, no lock. Yes, yeah, spin this top. Okay, so we got no auto. Uh, okay, so, could be a vacuum seal, could be a vacuum line. Okay, this one don't either. So we got, or vacuum hub, pulse vacuum hub. So we got a list. All I wanted to do right now while it's in here is see if it worked. So, uh, yeah, so we got an issue there. There you go. That's that's about, that's enough. I just want to check the steering and the ball joints. Might as well go ahead and record it. All right, guys, have a good day.